shit just to, you know what I'm saying, just to buy him some pills or some shit like that. Niggas wasn't headed to prison before this rap shit hit. And that's kind of why niggas will make these kind of mistakes. They're not cultured in the field of violence. You weren't a violent person before this rap shit hit. But now all of a sudden you become a rapper. You can pull off a double fucking homicide. These are the same niggas that you could slap. You could slap one of these niggas. And when shit take place, be the same nigga on the phone. I got a 30 pack on a nigga. I got a 30 pack on a nigga. Rap trap. We have to stop looking at these situations as individual events. It's one big situation. Whenever, uh, let, let's talk, let's talk, y'all. Um, when there's a bombing in London, and then there's a bombing at the Boston Marathon, and there's a bombing 9-11, we don't look at those bombings as separate events. They go behind the scenes, they investigate, oh, this bombing had the same characteristics of this bomb. They used thermite on this bombing. Um, on this bombing, they, they, used, um, they didn't use C4, they used thermite here also. They're using the same detonators. We will be idiots to think that these are separate events. These things come from the same source. Am I insane? Am I insane? the number one cause of death amongst young black men. Have you ever wondered why the incarceration and murder of rappers is so accepted and somewhat celebrated amongst today's society? Today we're going to explore an example of this phenomenon. Welcome to The Rap Trap, hosted by Ayo Conseco. Welcome back to the Big Face Podcast. I'm Ayo Conseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation, and this is... These shirts aren't for sale yet. Uh, these shirts don't go on sale till the end of March. Um, my mama told me don't wear this shit, whatever, because folks are going to start ordering. But I'm telling you, they, not on, they don't go on sale till the end of March, and they will only be available to Ayo Nation members, meaning that you've already bought your uniform. So if you try to buy one of these shirts at the end of March and, and ain't no goddamn... Um, purchase on your motherfucking PayPal that says you got a shirt, a hat, you know what I'm saying, some shit like that, it ain't working. It ain't going down. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna have just anybody wearing my shit and burning my shit on YouTube, getting their views up and shit like that. We ain't rocking like that. Um, you already know PayPal.me forward slash are you serious 10. All your shirts are 15. All your headwear is 10. Except for this shirt because this is the men 2. This is the men 2 shirt. It goes for 20. Um, if you have not signed the men to petition, it's in the description box. If you would like for bitches to go back, nothing assholes, to go back to where they belong, to the depths of hell, um, you need to sign the goddamn petition. I I just looked at that shit last night. A lot of fucking support, and I really appreciate that shit. Um, of course, we know that um, the PayPal that you buy your merchandise at is not the PayPal that you buy your, um, that you donate uh, to. Uh, that PayPal is always on the screen throughout the video. Um, at least three times during the video. Uh, it's paypal.me forward slash Aaron337. And that's where you donate if you want to hear your donation comment heard um, during the AO Nation donation conversation. Also, uh, Jeremy Harris, you sent me um, your money for your shirt and your hat with no fucking address. I saw that myself. Myself, I saw that shit. Um, so you need to, you know, holler. If you have not got... Merchandise is because you did not send an address. This to anybody. I saw that shit myself, motherfuckers. Real deal. Say I want a scully and a shirt. And that's it. No address, no ain't nothing. No size, no color, not which work. It's nothing. Just whatever. Get y'all shit together, dog. Alright, let's get into this shit, man. I tried to shoot this shit yesterday. I couldn't do it because it was, this shit is... 
this little nigga uh Ryan W. Melly um killed his homeboys. Um he just got denied bail. They got forensic evidence. Him and his other homeboy. And this is why I this is one of the main reasons why the three S's are so fucking critical in your life. This money and drugs will make a retarded nigga like this nigga here. Or six nine. Well six nine was kind of he a rat. So rats are usually sophisticated in, in, in that they know they, they they're watching their movements because they're scared of being found out. A undercover officer has to like he can act like he you know oh man I'm just so drunk but he's focused because he knows that he's behind enemy lines. Like I gotta be focused. This motherfucker anybody coming to the room looking any kind of way, I'm out this bitch. So he was sophisticating that. But with this nigga here, this is a retarded nigga. Which you have to be retarded in order to get any type of push in this industry nowadays. And it, also, this will be broadcast on the Rap Trap also. For those of you who don't know, I do have three channels. They're all in the description box. And I can't get mad at that either because some folks are just now getting here. And I don't say that every episode. So, yes, I have three channels. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to go there. But you look at this nigga... And you can just, like, it's, the industry threw money to the retarded nigga. We want the retarded nigga to come up so he can do retarded shit so that we know that the black community follows, they, they idolize their rappers. So we're going to make their rappers these type of people, follow these type of fucking people. This retarded ass nigga thought that he can set up, he thought he was smart enough, dope and money equal intelligence to us dope and money if you have dope and money dog like i'm telling you dog dope and money will make motherfuckers forget everything about you dog it's niggas with dope and money right now in alabama my nigga that got aids that still fucking red bones it's niggas with dope and money in alabama who everybody know that they're actually police have wore wires multiple times at least on two occasions have wore wires and niggas still buy dope from them. No, I don't know. That's why the fuck we're doomed. You can't even get Floyd Mayweather to ride with us when everybody was calling him a nigga. The whole fucking world wanted him to lose. We stood behind him. But he can't do three months with us. This is why we doomed. These are our leaders. But let's, let's, and the only leaders that truly matter are the leaders of the youth because that's our future. Um, rock out, dope and money. So, YNW Melly, he got the dope. You know what I'm saying? So they, they hitting the bag. These niggas from Florida somewhere. So these niggas hitting the bag and they, you know what I'm saying, popping the pee out. They don't even really fuck with the drink like that. So they smoking, hitting, popping, you know what I'm saying? And you just, I'm trying to tell you, dog. Them pills do something to your mind, my nigga. It does, dog. And you know, back in the day, they used to tell us uh, in school, this is your brain on drug. But it, it said that what ecstasy does is it, it bores holes in your brain and shit like that. Uh, you know, whatever, and you know, in school, you look, oh, that's crazy as fuck, whatever, but then you get into real life, and it's like, you pop a XP or whatever like that, and it's like, I don't feel no hole being bored through my brain, I feel good as fuck right now, nigga, I, I can be, I wish a nigga would right now, nigga, I'll be any nigga up in this, I, dog, I wish I can, bitch, any bitch in this, so I can have that hole, and if you can execute that shit, my nigga, if you can really execute, like, let's 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 talk about it. <clears throat> let's talk. Let's talk about. Let's talk about opiates. Opiates make you talkative. Um, you you can um, you feel so good that. Have you ever had a situation where this niggas y'all can relate to this? Um, you thought your girl was cheating. 
you called her three times or some shit like that. She ain't answering. You were just sure that she was doing something. And then she answered the phone. And you know what I'm saying? She was actually at the hospital because her mom got shot. You know, it was something that you were wrong. But you were already getting your mind ready for goddamn. I know this bitch. Like, you scared and shit like that. All kind of shit. Or let's say police was behind you. And they just keep going or some shit like that. Like, you'll talk to anybody because you're in a good mood. Oh, my God. Oh, it's a blessing. You know, you're just happy you talking. That's the feeling. That's the feeling. Like, everything all good. But it's not all good. And that's the issue. That's the issue. Now, when we start going to MDMA, which is ecstasy and Molly and shit like that. Really, Molly. That's, like, that's a whole nother level. That's a whole nother level, dog. Let's let's uh I'm telling you, I understand the allure behind dope. And it has to be like that. It has to feel like a miracle drug when you take it. It has to be hard to come off of. If it wasn't, there would be no what would be the You know what I'm saying? Like if it was easy, everyone would do it. Niggas die drug addicts. It's not because it's easy to get off. It's because it's impossible to get off. But if you claim that you're that one, that you're actually here to do something different than everybody else, why wouldn't your, why wouldn't your fucking road be more difficult than everyone else's? You run into a fucking stick of rye patch, a poison ivy patch. And you have to keep running through the motherfucker. Like, it's like. If I'm speaking to you about this shit because. And I can't take, I can't talk to you about weed because I've never had anything good happen on weed. Like that shit's always, I've always been horrible. Always been horrible. I've always hated that shit. Like, oh my God, I can't wait for this shit to be over. Can't function right. I got to tell myself to move. Move your left hand. Move your left hand. Why can't I move my left hand? Look at that tattoo. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I I, I'm, I hate that shit because I'm not in control anymore. But I'm saying all this to say, this nigga here, if he was sober, there's no way that he would have concocted this type of fucking plan. But because he had dope, and money, it made this retarded ass, you know what I'm saying, flyaway fucking plan seem like it was, we ain't never gonna get caught. And he had a nigga that was on side him on just as, just as much fucking dope, but not as much money. Just ride with it. I think the true victim here, of course, is the dudes that died and shit, but also... The homeboy on side of him. The homeboy, because I guess I can tell y'all that. It wasn't just YNW Melly that got hit for this murder, this double homicide. It was also his homeboy, Borat, or some shit like that. Dope and money. Not only does it change your... People treat you like Eminem said this shit. I, you know, when fame hit, I didn't change. It made the people around me change and shit like that. And 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 to a degree, that's true. You go from people not believing in you and not even seeing you and shit like that to now everyone you come in contact with laughs at every joke you tell, everything you say. Oh man, that's some deep ass shit. Oh yeah. You get no resistance. Kind of like the Truman Show. If you, I, I, and I, I reference all these fucking movies, but you got to keep up. You got to keep up. The Truman Show, I've never seen it. But I, I hear that the premise of it is, it's one person. Imagine that you're, you're the rest of the world's entertainment. Everyone else in the world is just actors. And it's a whole fucking audience of people 
in a fucking auditorium just watching your life. But nothing's real except you. You know what I'm saying? And that's kind of what fame is. Everyone's looking at your actions like this. You're being tricked. You're being tricked. Everyone knows that you're fucking retarded. Except you. And they... And they just want you to continue living, continue living until you make that big mistake. And you'll make that mistake because so many times you've been pulled over and you, you've been able to say, I'm Kanye West, I'm Eminem and shit like that. And they let you ride on. You really start to believe that you the skinny Suge Knight. That you untouchable. And then you mix that dope with that shit with already and then the money and... and you confused as fuck. As I said, the true victim here is the charge sponge. Why end up the other nigga, his co-defendant? Um, I don't give a, I, to be honest, I don't give a fuck about these niggas. What I care about is you. In, in, in movies, in hood movies, we watch and shit like that. You pick out what character you are. Uh, whether it be Juice, Belly, Boys in the Hood, Friday. Who you, Smokey or Craig? You know what I'm saying? You choose what character you are. Now, in this movie, the YNW movie, who are you? Are you the two niggas that got killed? YNW Melly co-defendant or YNW Melly? Because we're in a similar situation, which is why uh, this video, um, I tried to, like I said, I tried to do this shit yesterday um, and couldn't do it. Um... This shit like this, it is it, it's, it's shit like this, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, retarded niggas trying to be masterminds, planning on hitting licks, robbing banks, murdering shit. You know what I'm saying? And when you, when you not, you know what I'm saying? When you not the top nigga and you just, like you sometimes you have to be a pawn dog this like this the street dog like you know what i'm saying like it sometimes you have to be i'm just the no i'm just the enforcement here i didn't make this plan up i really don't believe in this plan but i gotta go with it because this is what we with you know what i'm saying and that's why not only do i advise you um to follow the three s's well with the three s's that's what solitude is i don't advise you to join any organization any organization um street organization whether it be crip blood latin king none of it because once again you should be in control of your destiny you should you know what i'm saying if you're in a situation where you can't say no i ain't with this without repercussions taking place it's a fucked up situation you know what i'm saying and if, if you've been in this situation where you just had to, you've known that this shit ain't going to work like this. Like, we not, and also you've known that the person that's given the orders has become drunk, not only with power, but actually drunk and high. He's not thinking straight, but because of who he is. You can't do nothing, but you know what I'm saying? You just, uh, you know, you, you had a low level the fuck and some of us like YNW Borat whatever the fuck this nigga name is didn't get out in time and it's not until shout out to my nigga Prince Castro um sometimes you find out that the motherfucker that you looking up to the motherfucker who Put down, if, if somebody needs to be violated, if it needs to be a punishment set out for a motherfucker violating the rules of the organization and shit like that, he the one that send niggas to do it and shit like that. Just like Preacher. Just like Preacher. The motherfucker who makes sure that nobody telling nobody, cooperate, nobody uh, who find out who, and all this shit like that, this the motherfucker, as soon as the... Before the cuffs hit his motherfucking wrist, this nigga saying what you need to know. Anything you need to know, what we what we need to do. And that's the same thing that's gonna happen here. 
this, this was a hard story to do. Um, I, I do this all day. You know what I'm saying? I do this all day long. And um, when they when they sent this to me, um, and as this shit unfolded, um, you see all the parties involved, and um, it just really throw you off. It really throw you off because um. Not only, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, this this could have been anybody. This could be anybody right now. It doesn't just have to be a rapper that's at the top of the shit. It can be anybody. The nigga you admire, the dope dealer, you know what I'm saying, but it's going to be in the street. This is by the fucking design. By design. Lil Baby was just uh, arrested thrown down, as DJ said, uh, they could have did him like they did Trayvon Martin, but when no sticks pulled out, when no, you know what I'm saying, when they said, no, no, it wasn't, it wasn't no murder, murder, nigga talk rough to him, all that shit like this, YNW Melly will wipe out two of his people, go to a video shoot the next day and party, 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 no problem. But as soon as a, a older white man, police officer, speak to him, oh, yes, sir, oh, yes, sir, yes, sir, smiling with every gold he got on that soda slim shit. The CIA throws money into the fucking cage. That's all they do, just throw, throw money into the cage and just watch the melee ensue. I bet you. What's that move with Eddie Murphy when they, when they bet a dollar to turn a, a black man with Eddie Murphy and shit? Uh, I can turn this black man life around and shit like that. They bet a dollar. And then they took some white dude's life away. But I bet you that if I throw money down there, I can get him to kill, not only cross out, but kill his closest partners. I bet you this money destroys everything he has. So what, once again, what you thought was a blessing turns out to be a curse. Before this money hit, we were brothers in arms. Couldn't nothing separate us. We were brothers in the struggle. But in success, we became not only enemies. Where did the envy come from? What did the end become? We, you know, uh, it's gonna be a lot of shit turned up in this case. Uh, this it's gonna be just like the six nine shit. Uh, he fucked this girl. He fucked that. Like the, the stories. Like we have to stop looking at these motherfuckers as individual things and look at it as a whole. Rap trap. Rap trap. Before you got in this rap shit, you was just another nigga running the street and. Maybe you, really, to be honest, a lot of these niggas were not on their way to prison before they, like, this rap shit hit. These niggas were going to work. These niggas were going to work. These were not gangsters. You're not no gangster because you sell dope out the, out the kitchen of Burger King. You sell weed out the kitchen of Burger King. The manager come to you and get, uh, get him an eighth before he go home and shit like that. You, that, that doesn't make you a gangster. Niggas do that shit just to, you know what I'm saying, just to buy them some pills or some shit like that. Niggas wasn't headed to prison before this rap shit hit. And that's kind of why niggas will make these kind of mistakes. They're not cultured in the field of violence. You weren't a violent person before this rap shit hit, but now all of a sudden you become a rapper, you can pull off a double fucking homicide. These are the same niggas that you could slap. You could slap one of these niggas. And when shit take place, be the same nigga on the phone. I got a 30 pack on a nigga. I got a 30 pack on a nigga. Rap trap. We have to stop looking at these situations as individual events. It's one big situation. Whenever, uh, let, let's talk, let's talk, y'all. 
um, when there's a bombing in London, and then there's a bombing at the Boston Marathon, and there's a bombing 9-11, we don't look at those bombings as separate events. They go behind the scenes, they investigate, oh, this bombing had the same characteristics of this bomb. They used thermite on this bombing. Um, on this bombing, they, they use, um, they didn't use C4, they used thermite here also. They're using the same detonators. We will be idiots to think that these are separate events. These things come from the same source. Am I insane? Am I insane? Ted Bundy, Ted Bundy was the first, before he came, there was no, uh, we knew nothing of, I'm watching, that's crazy, I'm watching that, um, um, that uh, documentary right now, that series right now, um, they had never heard of a serial killer before he came, and because of that, he was able to jump state to state. They found how many bodies up there at uh at at at, uh, at camp whatever. That's what what like it's, it's up in the mountains and shit. Like they found so many fucking bodies, uh, skulls and shit like that. But they tried. They was like, oh, what the fuck we have? They weren't sharing information with with uh Washington and um Ohio and shit like that. He even went down to Florida. That's where he got him in Florida. And did the same shit. They had they had uh forensic evidence. He bit a girl. I think in Washington and then uh, did the same thing in Florida or some shit like at a sorority house. But because they weren't comparing notes, he was able to cause more death and destruction, which is the same thing that's going to happen here. This is why people, I understand, I understand y'all and I really do. I really appreciate y'all. Um, when people write me messages, like you need to come up with security questions for your family and watch out and shit like that. It's not that you're trying to scare me, but I understand that when I come up on here and talk, man, some shit just kind of piece itself together to where it's not kind of like me talking, but because ideas just, they just kind of come. But if I can't do nothing else, let me give you this. If we can't, if if nothing else can happen, then let's just this listen to me on this right here. If we continue to not share notes and compare and contrast all of these different events and try to find the source of them, it's not you know the uh, envy is the fucking source. Uh, uh, betrayal is the source. No, no. These people, we have to, it will, will no one come forward and compare notes? We have so many hip hop historians. Will no one come forward and say, hey, what happened to him is eerily similar to what happened to Tupac. What happened to him is eerily similar to what happened to Craig Mack. There's a there's a, a old he's a Democratic um, investor or some shit like that named Ed Buck. Two homosexual black men have died in his apartment. On that on that um what's my man name? A serial killer in Milwaukee. That ate people. He ate people, man. What the fuck is the dude's name? Jeffrey Dahmer. You know what I'm saying? Police walked his last victim back to the goddamn room when girls were trying to say, nah, something wrong and shit like that. Will no one come forward and say, this is extremely similar? We have a weak dog. Look at all the motherfucking examples we have. Does this rap game not look like a fucking trap? And if you ask me, it's entrapment. Because it wasn't until you gave them this curse, which they thought was a blessing because they, they weren't in tune enough. It wasn't until you put that curse on them to where they started catching charges. I want to talk to the rappers. You were just doing your thing and shit like that. And all of a sudden, some money just came out of nowhere.
What they say if it's too good to be true. But after that money came, all of a sudden you start catching charges. You was never, you ain't never caught these kind of like this. This, the fuck is going on? I got probation. Not this, not that, not this, not that. I understand that I'm far less than a formidable foe for the CIA. They have far too many resources. They can destroy my life with a push of a button. And they, they, they could make some shit about me so fucking believable that even my closest AO Nation members would fucking believe it. Same thing they did to uh, Gary Webb. But this shit is starting to get kind of thrown the fuck off. Are we built that different as black men? That as soon as... I've told you that fame isn't just a word. It's an actual thing, which I think should have a chemical, uh, uh, elemental number. It should be on a periodic table. F-A, fame. And once that fame meets with melanin... There's a chemical reaction that takes place. Somebody look into that. Because it, it, it seems it, it doesn't it doesn't work with us very fucking well. I, but what is that to say? Because you got so many examples of, of motherfuckers. But dog, I got story after story after story. I can't do all these fucking stories, dog. They tell me some motherfucker um in 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 what the fuck, Florida? Some motherfucking Ohio just got shot. You know, there's, there's so many fucking things. At some point, we have to go back to the source. It's not our rap dreams that's fucking us up. NBA young boy about to get 10 years. No, we got to start looking at this shit as if we are actually inside of a fucking trap. As soon as you step, as soon as you sign that contract, what you're signing is a, um, what do you call that shit? Like when, uh, motherfuckers can't be like a dentist. Like when you, they finna pull a tooth and shit like that. And, um, they, they don't want to be liable if you get fucked up. You know what I'm saying? If you bleed out of some shit, they can't be liable or some shit like that. That's what you signing. Like you are, um, agreeing to um, take place in this experiment and whatever happens to you, we cannot be held liable because you're about to go into the gladiator pit. You're about to go where you're going is an extreme blood sport. It's the ultimate reality show. And we're going to watch. We're going to watch. And we're going to make money. Because it's entertaining to watch your life, to watch, just to see. That's all we're doing, dog. We're just looking to see how this life will be destroyed. How that life will be destroyed. How that relationship turned. What drug will he get on? Look at Orlando Brown. Look, dog. I, man, 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 man. And you can, <clears throat> you have to do it to a unsuspecting victim. I think that's, I, dog, I'm trying to tell you, and I, I, I'm not going to scream it to you. I'm just going to tell you, dog, there's a criteria to the gladiators that they send in. There's a criteria under 18, non-high school graduate one parent household at least you know what I'm saying one arrest or you know what I'm saying some shit like that there is a criteria man those make the greatest episodes they're looking at our lives the, the lives of our young 
It's just different episodes. Different fucking episodes. I saw a motherfucker. Hey, it's a dude named, uh, I'm gonna say this nigga name. Uh, Comethazine. Come, it's like come, it's like Promethazine, but it's like come in front of it. This motherfucker still walking around like taking a picture with a, a big ass blunt and a, a purple sprite. It's like, dog, when I see that shit now, to me, that, that's the, that's, that's Gucci to me. That's you saying that you're not for us. If you'll get on your social media and promote drug use, that is you wearing Gucci. That is you wearing blackface. You're not for us. You can't be. We're getting hit from every fucking angle. As an artist, you're a billboard. You're promoting something. And it's not just yourself. And you choose to hold up a blunt and a motherfucking purple Sprite. Steve Harvey just said, I can't spare no money for my integrity. That come from the top. Steve Harvey said that. Ah, but I, but with that, <laughs> that it, it, it's, it's that's a soundbite. That's a fucked up ass soundbite. But what he was talking about was he was trying to talk to Monique, and Monique just put him in a. She let him talk, and she fucked him over on that one. He should have just said, "Bitch, I'm not fucking with you like that." That's what he should have said. But you want to keep saying my sister and all that shit like that. You should just say, "I'm not fucking with you like that, bitch." You know what I'm saying? But you try integrity and money. That shit is it, horrible. It's horrible, and it's already bad shit about you and shit like that. I'm not gonna hop on that. It's the pharmaceutical companies, the judicial system, sports team, privatized prisons. The head of McDonald's, Burger King, you know what I'm saying? This Sprite, this all these people are paying the heads of the music industry to keep the fuckery going. The music industry will never be bankrupt. As long as they can make drug use and prison seem cool, they will be paid from every fucking angle that is the rap trap the day that an artist lives and does something productive with his money will be the day that that shit stops the day that a rapper gets through and says going to jail ain't cool and it cool and it actually does it makes an impact will be the day you see that motherfucker get assassinated they're not going to let that take place. No rapper. Listen to what I'm telling you. No rapper is allowed to have a positive album. Listen to me. They'll call it, call it uh, feel good music, party and music. And they'll give it all other names and shit like that and not call it what it is. This is death and destruction. Let's go back. Everybody on the, if you watch if you're in AO Nation, you have to watch They Live. I'm going to keep on referring back to it because that's where we're at. We live. In the movie They Live, I've still not seen the movie, but I've seen clips and shit like that. It'll be a magazine there. The magazine will say Source. Um, Kodak Black hits the top of the charts in a picture of Kodak Black. Once you put the glasses on, you'll see it says... Death and destruction. Kill yourself. And Kodak Black will be a skeleton face. That's what you're getting from that magazine without even knowing it. I'm trying to talk to you. Can you hear me? Will you do anything different in your life as I'm talking to you or do you just watch me for entertainment? Is this just a show on YouTube to you? 
or are you making changes in your life? Do you just watch this when you at work and watch this and shit like that and then go back to your regular, do you just hit the blunt afterwards? Are you doing anything to change anything for anything other than just passing my videos along to your friends and family? YNW Melly 69 and the, whoever the nigga is who just got killed by the police. These deaths. These stories are always hard to do because it's like, what the fuck? Of course, this is what happens. Of course. Of course. We haven't changed our mindset. Nothing's changed, and we continue to get the same drug. How will we not overdose? Are we insane? What's the definition of insanity? Okay, so if nothing's changed, why in the fuck will we expect different results? We're gonna go to jail, we're gonna overdose, we're gonna get murdered, we're going to murder each other. They're not going to give you a deal, my nigga. They're not going to make it easy for you to find my videos. Anything that can wake you up out of the motherfucking matrix. I don't want to use that word. But anything that can wake you up, they're going to hide it. Anything that will keep you asleep, they will blast it in your face. You won't be able to get away from it. Understand?